A battle to get needed funding to stay open comes to a close as Birmingham Southern College is seizing operations. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Brittany Decker. I'm Guy Rawlings. WVTM 13's Jarvis Robertson spoke with State Representative Wandelin Gavan about Birmingham Southern closing. What did she tell you, Jarvis? Well, Guy, I asked Representative Wandelin Gavan if the work to keep Birmingham Southern College open done in vain. Now, she says that the process could have been handled a little bit better than how it was. She went on to say that she believes more people should have been kept in the loop as legislation was being done to keep the campus open. Now, as you know, school leaders have been fighting for over a year to keep this campus open. The school board of trustees voted this morning to close. Now, that's a very different decision from this time last year when they voted in April to remain open. Now, BSC's endowment fund ran low due to spending from the previous administration. That caused the money issues. They had a goal of raising $200 million by May of 2026 and had raised $45 million of that last year through public and private efforts. Gavan is hopeful that another institution of higher learning will purchase this campus. So there's been some conversation as to what uh, could be done with Birmingham Southern. Alabama A&M is, 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 could, could be a factor. Have they reached out to you? Uh, I've talked with the president last year about it. Uh, not as much this year. Uh, there have been some rumblings. Um, some of their alumni is very, very much interested in um, absolutely beautiful campus. Now, Birmingham Southern is set to close on May 31st. If you guys remember last year, school officials, they did apply for a loan with the state for emergency funding. However, that was denied back in October of last year. Also, students are currently on spring break, but when they return, individual meetings will be held with those students needing to transfer to go over their options. Also, the school says that they do plan to help those employees that will be displaced after May 31st. Now, coming up tonight at 10, and you guys are going to hear from one student that I spoke with who's actually graduating in May. Although this is not the news he wanted to hear, he still loves this community and this school. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Jarvis Robertson, WVTM 13. Jarvis, thank you so much. And as you just mentioned, Saving Birmingham Southern has been an ongoing effort, not only for the school's president, city and state leaders, but also the students. In November, dozens of students made the trip south to Montgomery, hoping to meet with state treasurer, Young Boozer, who denied the college's application for an almost $30 million bridge loan. They didn't talk to Boozer, but the students wanted him and others in a position to help save the liberal arts college know how these decisions are affecting them. My heart breaks for the future Panthers that might not be able to come and we are here for them and we want to say, uh, raise our voices for them. Through my personal failures, family issues and financial troubles, there was one thing that remained constant. The love and dedication to my growth as a human being that Birmingham Southern provided. Now is Matthew Dale, a senior at BSC from the Bush Hills community. He says losing the school, which is now a reality, would be devastating to the West Birmingham community. For the latest on the future of Birmingham Southern College or to take a look at its history, log on to WVTM13.com or download the free WVTM13 app.